What's up, Pathways? I'm Nathan Purifoy, your worship pastor. This week, we're talking about leadership. These lessons are applicable in your family, your job, your social circle, and your personal walk with God. And I hope to be able to encourage you and equip you to be able to use your influence to be wise, impactful Christians in your world. Today, we're going straight to scripture. Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keeps the law, happy is he. Let's break this down into two parts. First, where there is no vision, the people perish. What is vision? Leaders use the catchphrase, casting vision all the time. It's a really simple idea. Leaders wanna help their people see what they see. To have a clear vision, we generally need to identify meaningful goals and the path to them. For example, as a person of influence in our church, I have to think about this often. I see where we're heading, and I have the responsibility of preparing my team for it. So I cast vision. I don't simply give my team assignments. Even when they know what we're doing, they need to know why. So maybe we're putting in some extra volunteer hours to have a worship night. I might let them know there are a lot of people at our church that are having a hard time connecting with God at a deeper level. We can't replace their personal prayer life. We can't replace their time in the Bible, but we can give them an environment that's distraction-free and focused completely on God. And for one evening, our people are going to be in a place and an atmosphere that has their complete attention on God, and we can help them get to a new level in their relationships with God. Now my team knows the why behind the what. The second part of this verse says, but he that keeps the law will be happy. What does that have to do with casting vision? Imagine this, if I didn't cast vision to my team, eventually they'd get tired of me taking advantage of their volunteer time. They make big sacrifices to be part of what we're doing here. So if I help them see the why behind the what, If I help them navigate the biblical principles behind our physical efforts and sacrifices, if I can keep those same biblical principles of patience and peace and kindness and generosity and compassion, then me and my people will have a clear conscience and motivated spirit to continue making an eternal impact. We'll find ourselves fulfilled and like it says, happy. So lead with vision and keep your integrity for the sake of yourself and the people you influence. Let's keep growing together as leaders in our communities. I'll see you tomorrow for another Daily Dose.